Okay guys, um, before I cross the lake, like I mentioned before, I want to talk about two Asian countries now. Maybe I'll also make a parable about uh, in which I will compare two, you know, modern, present day countries. But for now, I want to talk about two Asian countries. I want to talk about Britannia, which was Roman Britain, and Noricum. Noricum was an ancient kingdom that the Greek and Romans, you know, took into their empire, but the Noricum tribe, Noricum people remained independent. They were a part, they were in the Roman Empire, the country was in the Roman Empire, at the border with the Rhine River, but they were not of the Roman Empire. It's not that complicated. They were into the borders of empire, but they were still independent. And the other you know, kingdom that was also included in the Roman Empire was Britain. Well, you know, why do I compare these two countries? Because, you know, Roman Britain was an important area, also because of the gold in the area. And it was, it's a large country, you know, still is. And, you know, it had its riches. And the Greeks and Romans were interested in Britain. However, this, this had a price. Because, you know, Britain is an island, it was an island kingdom, it was, it was on, it's upon an island, it's apart from the mainland. Because of that you would say they had the advantage that they were away, far away from uh, Italy. But, you know, that's not the whole truth. They uh, were, they were not this, the center of attention in ancient times, but they, they had a cent they had a central role, you know, for in the politics of Western Europe. And because of that, not only, you know, people with the right intentions came over there, but all, a lot of people with evil intentions also. And that's what a lot of people don't, you know, want to remember. When you have glory, when you have prosperity in your life, a lot of wicked and a lot of evil-minded people will also come after you and want to associate with you. Because remember, thieves go to a place where they can steal. Thieves don't go to the poor where there's nothing. See, someone wants to have power, he will not bother that much with people who don't have power. Because, okay, he can easily you know, claim he's a god kind of figure. Because those people won't resist. You know, Roman Britain had a lot of trouble for centuries long. And, you know, the Roman rule was harsh over there. It was not that huge as in Italy, but they had trouble. And mainly because, you know, they had the, the because of the prosperity over there. However, Noricum, which was another country, they didn't, they didn't even have a uh, you know, access to sea. So that did make them quite important. That didn't make, make them important at all. They were located near the Rhine River. And that was it. They have a lot of mountains, a lot of green nature they have over there. And they, they, you have a lot of, you had a lot of sheep and a lot of cattle and shepherds and little villages over there and some cities that the Romans built. No, not completely, but that were from during the Roman area. It was Noricum. However, it was a more peaceful place than Roman Britain, or for Spain, or Egypt. And you know, what I wanted to say with this, when I've compared Roman Britain and Noricum, is that, you know, often it's not a bad thing to be ignored and overlooked by people. You know, it hurts. And when people reject you, when people have this negative, you know, view of you, when people, you know, choose to treat you like dirt, as if you don't matter, it hurts because it's sin, it's evil. You have to recognize it. But you see, don't take revenge, don't try to prove yourself, you know? Because in this world, where people reject the Lord Jesus, where, where selfishness is the course of the nations, in this world, 
most of the time when you receive attention when people do treat you right it's only because they want something from you it's only because they can benefit from you not a lot of people don't love you because of you they only love the benefits you can have from you so when they don't perceive you as a potential you know often it's for your own good let it happen it's better to be like the ancient kingdom Norikun that you are independent of the world system and that you have peace in a sense of you're, you don't have to prove yourself yes the Romans were there they, they were in the empire but they weren't really of the empire so they had but their contact with the Romans were minimum and it's better in this world to be rejected and to have minimum contact with people who with you know society than to be a celebrity and being and living under pressure because many people think that if they become a celebrity whether it's in Hollywood or in the academic world or in sports or anything they think when they are a celebrity they have all that money and all that appreciation from people that their life is fine that they've reached heaven on earth it's not true many want to become like Rome or Roman Britain I'll say be like Nordicum you know I say okay rejection is not fine but it's better to be rejected and that people don't see any value in you than to be then that people do acknowledge your value but only to exploit you you see you will have people that will you know honor you as they should but there won't be that many because most people will only love you because of what they can gain from you you see but let it happen because those people will end up in hell the Lord Jesus the owner of this earth will not allow them to remain here for eternity and to abuse everything okay stay in the Lord Jesus and remember just because people acknowledge you that doesn't mean that they love you many will only acknowledge you as long as it can benefit them well that's enough for now and um